Hello, I'm your favourite three letters rearranged on top of each other to assemble some sort of training wheel device. If you're wondering how I lost one bit of life in the corner, well, that's a very interesting story. What, you're interested about the mannequin? Fuck off, that's not interesting. I'm not going to tell you that. That's just degrading. All right. Through the miracle of editing, we are in long legs of the law. Well, her legs aren't actually that long. Oh, she's not a real officer. Is that going to be the joke? Yeah. A, a bowling pin. Ho! Oh, a reference to a game you won't have played. Uh, unless you played the original Dead Rising one, then you'd totally get that. Surely she should be using this. What? What? You've changed characters quickly. Oh, you need the erotic magazine as well. I can't remember why. You just need... Actually, I should probably give her this, shouldn't I? Oh, god damn it! Oh! Set myself up to fail, haven't I? Anyway, you need the erotic magazine to save a survivor, so grab one of those. I don't know where you'll ever find another dildo. The last lady I gave a dildo to, though, didn't end up very good. Don't really want to talk about it. So we're going to go do the cement saw combined with plates contraption. I thought it was a cement blade, like a cement actual weapon thing, and a cement blade, but you actually just need... I don't think I'm explaining this very well. You just need... This saw, and then plates. I don't know how they're going to assemble a contraption out of those particular items, but can't wait to find out. Alright. We need some plates. If the game would be so kind. Oh God, what are we going to drop? The We can't drop the nudie magazine. That's very important to our morale. Keeps morale up, amongst other things. I'm, of course, talking about erotic magazine sales. What the fuck did you think I was talking about? You dis... You disgusting lowlife! Oh, shit, this is the wrong way. How's that dildo doing for you? Keeping you alive? Very good. I knew it would. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Something she probably hears a lot. We've got a lot of survivors to save today, but this is sort of the the last bunch. I can't believe we did bank run. I've been waiting two years. Two years to finish that. Still can't get over it. Alright, drink this. Oh, bugger. I've really bollocked this up. I gave it to her as a joke, but she seems to think it's a, a bloody wedding ring. You're an erotic performer. Where are you going to find another dildo? Oh, I don't know. You, maybe you know, your next day you work. Unless she gives it up for the trauma if she's like a pussy or something. I mean, tickle my clitoris. This is ridiculous. I'm not familiar with many erotic performers called Deirdre either. I thought she was a psychopath battle in all honesty. I completely forgot what we were going to do with her, but I'm kind of relieved she isn't. There's, I think there's only one more optional psychopath battle in the game. And that's like my... What? What? You saw that. She was alright. She was green. Ugh. Game's just playing by its own rules. TK thinks he can mess with my survivors as well. When something goes wrong in this game, just blame it on TK. He's, he's sort of the inconsequential plot device. This is like a glitch. I mean, she's got very nice legs. We don't really need the rest of her body anyway. She might be better off as a zombie. Bagged. The Venus touch. Might as well just be called Vaginas Everywhere. That's why I don't name stores. Well, I named this one kid's store, but I don't, don't really want to talk about that. Hopefully I haven't missed the uh, deadline for this quest. It's been quite a while. Did take my time a bit. Well, looks like I fucked the quest up. But basically, you go in there and they make you a cool weapon. Well, that's annoying, isn't it, Deirdre? We've got a dildo out and everything. Oh, what are you going to do? Wait, there should be some other survivors that have spawned. Oh. God, that's a powerful six-shooter. 
It's like the upgraded one from Shadow Warrior. That's a money hacker. If you use that, you get more money. But, you know, I'm doing alright for money, so who cares? There should be some survivors in here, but I don't know if they've spawned yet. Guess they haven't. Oh, I think they're upstairs, actually. Let's take a look. I don't remember if there's a quest for them. Just want to make sure. How do I remember all this? Magic. No, it looks like they haven't spawned. Oh my god! Yes! This gets its own cutscene. Some animator had to render that. Oh, video games are the best job in the world. <laughs> Level up, of course. Oh, my throwing distance increased. That's good. Alright, well, fuck this quest up so we won't be needing those. That's disappointing. We actually don't have anything to do now, so... I'm just going to teleport back to the safe house until shit happens. See you there. Oh, Didri's having a ball. No, oh, that sounds great. I'd love a proper formal thank you. Why? You got tips last night, but last night was the zombie outbreak. There was still zombies out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the dress was her idea. I, I would just like to say at this point, in my defense, it was her idea. Um... Uh, yeah, there's really not much going on right now, so I will cut to when the case files start happening again. Alright lads, welcome back. If you're not sure where we are, then pff, you should have watched the last 20,000 parts. What you need to do is put on your tuxedo for the next case. You've got to look really good. This is sort of a psychopath battle in that you're having a mental battle with the psychopath, not a one-to-one a -one physical battle. Also, another case popped up where Richard is raping women. So we're going to have to get him an erotic magazine to calm him down. I mean, you know, he gave me Zombrex, so I'm inclined to like him. I'm surprised he didn't try to eat it, honestly. He tried to eat everything else in the store. This is pretty much... This is one of my favourite um, survivor missions, for sure, because you get to meet Danny Glover, and you get to meet... What's he called? The guy from Sweet Transfer... Who was... Tim, Ad Tim Adams, was it? It was something like that. You get to meet both of them. It's brilliant. There he is! And there he is! Oh, that's what they say about all my Let's Plays. Especially my pet sources too, one. I'm afraid we missed the sound check, so... <laughs> and sound check's something that's not in my vocabulary. These, these entire parts could all be fucked and I just wouldn't know. Oh, I love fetch quests. Basically, she wants you in a tux, and you need to lure some zombies over, or she blows up the entire place. It's... Oh god, look at those fat folds. <laughs> yeah, so incompetent. Can't make the show go on while uh, her hands are tied behind her back. She's obviously not committed. Wish that guy would blink. Thank you. How did they end up in this circumstance? Where did she get C4 from? Who's the main act of the show? Why does she talk like Austin? I mean, he. Why does he talk like Austin Powers? Frank usually has a comeback, but this time he's left absolutely gormless and speechless. He's the best character in the game. I like how she took the time to give him a margarita. You can bet she was trying to start the show and he was like, Where's my fucking margarita? He's like, Oh, you can have your fucking margarita. Yeah, 
There you go. That's the drink of kings, that is. Alright, now we need to get some fans. We need to basically lure a bunch of zombies over. The easiest way to do this is to find a hand. Because zombies just love human hands. They took hand in marriage to a whole new level. Let's just get their attention a bit. Come on, lads! Come on! Here we go. Everyone over here, come on. Plenty of room for everybody. What's that man wearing? I've got a... Yeah, that is dramatic, isn't it? I think you need to get ten zombies. We're doing pretty good. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough, fans! This woman will never be safe. Let's just kill. Kill. <laughs> Turning into cure, I think, zombies are people. It's just because they're the only people that listen to my ramblings. God, this guy's really excited. I've been waiting to watch BB my entire life. Oh, wow. She was actually going to be an act from September to November. No year. She was just going... Every September, every November, she acts. Look, you've got so many fans. Look at all these fans. Oh, for fuck's sake. Would you, would you all let people get to the front? She's got a bit of an ego, this woman. You've got some fans? I'll get some more, then. What well, happened to that guy? He knocked himself out before the show. He'll be disappointed in the morning. Come on. Come on, lads. Oh, they're really not cooperating. Yeah, because women love erotic magazines. Gives them the PP. Is that enough? Quiet! Oh, we've got to do this before 6pm. I've got other ladies waiting for me. There you go. Is that it? Bloody hell, woman! Go on! I think it's because they're getting stuck behind each other. Like, these ones aren't considered... Yeah, these ones are... I don't want to shake them off too quickly because they otherwise they die. Oh, I think I think she's happy now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's not how you talk to people. All right, now we get to play a dance dance mini game, which is my favourite part of Dead Rising 2. Off the record, how are you doing? Now, if you mess this up, she goes crazy and kills everyone. So you make sure you do it well. That's what they said about this Let's Play as well for me. Exactly. We're in the same boat here. Frank literally... Oh, finally, he says something. Do they lift these lines right out of Chuck? He's got that angsty look that that bastard just propagates everywhere. Don't talk to me about big numbers. 2,457. How's that one? <laughs> oh, he's crazy. Well, I just did. You see, the thing about Frank is he's so fat, but he's got massive arms. It doesn't make any sense. That is some focused workouts. I hope I don't fuck this up. I don't know what the button prompts are going to be. Okay, they're on. Con they're in controller mode. That is very helpful. Ah, uh, the old XYX. That's my favourite dance. <laughs> like how she didn't fix the torch. She, she really appreciated my artistic contribution to her show. That's what all the critics will go home saying. Besides, uh, itchy, itchy, tasty, you know, because 
What fail? That was perfect. Oh, I've got to be careful. Hope I didn't fail. Overall. <laughs> now, I've done some weird things in my Let's Play career, but I promise I would not eat you all up. I will never say those words. That oh, Jesus. Did she get lifted up? I get that a lot. That doesn't make any sense with Frank, because Chuck did have a nice butt, but Frank does not. <laughs> Frank is just a butt. And then she finally realises, oh! This isn't how the show's meant to go. Well, that is- that is a pistol! And yet it only does half HP damage. They're getting rowdy, aren't they? Let me... Oh, God, I'm sorry, Juan! I have these moments. What is this zombie? It's wild. Cameron. The greatest man in Dead Rising 2 off-the-record history. You have to live, my friend. Oh, my life went up. That's good. Performance like that does give you a, give you life, give you hope for the future. I've got to get this tuxedo off. It's just, it's not Frank West. It's not Frank West. Oh, I got a new move as well. The two-hand smash. That sounds incredibly impractical. Save your game by visiting a restroom. These are important life lessons that the game teaches you. All right, I'll catch you guys. Back at the safe room where we will end the session. Oh, it's all right. It's what I do. Oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Very unprofessional of me. I'm, I'm letting all this fame get to me from such a brilliant show. Oh, thank you. So generous. Oh, don't get up, Sullivan. I only saved more people. Are you all right, Richard? <laughs> Don't root for him. Okay. Why are you rubbing your clitoris? You, you want to release some of it. Alright. Go on, do your pump fit. Yes! Perfect. This is drama. He does look like he needs the toilet. He gave me a hundred bucks for that. That's great. If I could hit you with this bat here, then I would. Oh, God, look at that. Capcom's gonna sue. Right, so he stopped a mutiny. Because somehow not giving this guy a porn... Would, would you stop that now? You've got your porn magazine. Would you fuck... Would you fuck off? Um, I guess I'll have to fuck off. Before this video gets flagged. Um, I stopped a mutiny because if he'd had his wicked way, he would have said, This is bullshit. I can't just have sex with all these ladies. Who's with me? And Royce would have been, Hell yeah. I want to have sex with all the ladies. And Sullivan might have actually got up from his chair and be like, Hell yeah, I would have sex with all the ladies if he wasn't the main villain of the game and going to betray us inevitably at some point. Uh. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. No, that's not alright. People get upset when I when I do the spot. Okay, I'll just, I'll just walk away. 